So what are these dengue serotypes? Now the virus of the same species that are different as well. Now we've talked about variants like I said when it comes to COVID-19 so this is going to be slightly simpler to understand. Precisely there are four that we really need to look into. DNV 1, 2, 3 and then 4. Dengue can potentially strike four times remember and this basically means that one strain provides lifetime immunity against only that strain. So you can get dengue again about uh, with the other three that are being talked about and that is what we know so far there might be new emerging as time goes on as well there is still possible to be infected with the remaining three stains like i said stereotype denv2 currently predominant in india said to be more dangerous as well more pathogenic as well and the second attack the thing to remember with denv2 is that the second attack is said to be more dangerous so we have to be very careful of reinfection when it comes to dengue. Also uh, a bad spell of the type 2 can lead to a dengue shock syndrome as well. Now dengue as we know it is not lethal. It leads to hospitalization in worst cases but you do recover with at the right time if you get uh, intervention of, uh, uh, of various medicines etc. But there are now more and more cases emerging of how people uh, there has been lethal as well. So what is that that you need to be careful about is what we'll discuss. Let's go to the next set of uh, graphics where we talk about this particular variant, the second type of dengue variant. It is more dangerous than the other variants around. It spreads faster. It is associated with severe symptoms and even death. It was detected first in Kerala in 2017 and since then, especially this year around, we've seen more and more cases of this type 2 type. Alright, but why exactly is it more dangerous? Because most important mosquito spread, this is a viral disease, remember. Major international public health concerns have been raised around this. Now this disease, now dengue, mostly found in tropical, subtropical climates and uh, it is mostly prevalent in urban, semi-urban areas as well. So all of us need to be very careful about this particular type of variant of dengue. Symptoms slightly different from what you generally see in dengue when it comes to the second type. There are going to be joint pains. There will be lower platelet count that goes across the board really. Continuous vomiting, abdominal pain, high grade of fever, weak pulse, restlessness, confusion, irritability, cold and sort of clammy skin bleeding gums and noses this is something particular to type 2 or the second type of dengue variant that we're talking about and pain behind the eyes as well uh, those are some of the symptoms very very peculiar to the env2 so be very watchful and cautious about that also possible complications that can actually lead to a more like we said uh, you can lose life with dengue that is the new phenomena that we are talking about especially what we've seen in up with kids as well in up again talking about that the dhf was seen as a severe form dss that's a dengue shock syndrome as well that has been seen we'll talk in detail about this during the course of the program as well but having understood that having understood what actually is DENV2 and why exactly said to be more lethal, more dangerous than the other variants at this point. Let's also tell you the causes of the dengue fever. Transmitted mostly through mosquito bites, mainly by uh, the, you know, the breed that comes in and uh, this also uh, breeds, this mosquito breeds in clean and artificial water accumulation around the house, all your little plants in the house. Uh, coolers as well seen as uh, one of the major reasons where water accumulates in your pots as well. So anywhere where clean water is accumulating ensure that you are constantly changing it. That's the only way you can prevent dengue and the mosquito of dengue from breeding. Now remember in the beginning of the program we talked about how this is not just a Delhi centric or a UP centric problem. 11 states now in the grip of this new more dangerous dengue. This includes states like Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Urissa, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and Telangana as well. That's how widespread as of this moment, according to government's own estimates only, dengue and this more dangerous form of dengue is. 
Now we talked about symptoms of dengue earlier, but I wanted to sort of talk about the dengue symptoms in the atmosphere and the world of COVID-19 that we live in. Uh, what is happening at this point, a lot of doctors are reporting also, is that patients are coming to them very late and patients also not being able to detect whether or not it is dengue. So we thought we'll break it down for you, COVID-19 versus dengue. What exactly are the similarities over there when it comes to symptoms and where exactly are some of the differences as well. Now this is a chart, please take a picture of that, keep it with you, circulate amongst your family and friends as well to understand the difference and perhaps not so much the difference between dengue and COVID-19 symptoms in this at this time of the year. Fever both have. Fatigue both have, muscle pain also seen, dry cough sometimes seen in dengue, a breathlessness also sometimes seen in dengue. Apart from that, headache uh, mostly in both, rashes mostly in both, sore throat sometimes in dengue, sometimes when uh, COVID-19 also gives you chills but mostly it is the case with dengue. When it comes to diarrhea, that is a clear sign wherein there is none seen in during dengue, but definitely in COVID-19. So ensure there is no overlap over there and mild bleeding sometimes seen in dengue as well. So like I said, very similar patterns and symptoms over there, thus making it even more difficult for the doctors to detect at this point what exactly is it that you have, right? So that's more important in fact, that makes it even more important for us to understand where exactly dengue lies and where is COVID-19. There has been a lot of overlap with people's second dose and the dengue season as well. So people initially, when the fever set in, they thought it is just a reaction of the second dose, but it wasn't quite like. So very, very important for you to know these symptoms.